Hey everybody. Okay, so what I'm gonna have here is just a little video of my vaporizer installed in my car. Um, so, little thing though, just to note real quick. I'm not showing everything. I'm gonna show it installed in my car right now. I, I don't have the uh, other videos of the rest of the build compiled together yet. Um, this was just a quick video I wanted to shoot to show everybody that yeah, I got it installed. Started it up. Um, I've run it for a couple hours total. Uh, I took it for a test drive. When I did my first test run in my garage, I was letting it idle there, in there for about an hour. I would also rev up the engine to higher RPMs and it worked perfectly fine. Um, and after it was running for about an hour, there was a big puddle of carbon buildup because since the uh, the the vapor is running my engine, it it burns a lot cleaner, and because it burns completely, um, what you have in the exhaust is is a bunch of steam from the water, and so all that steam passing through my exhaust system um, and and through my engine cleans it out. So all of that carbon buildup that was in my exhaust system and in my engine. Um, it was taken out with the steam. So I have a big puddle. I'll put some pictures in the video and show you that. But I was able to do a test drive. I need to do some a modification um, just to make it so that it runs a little bit better. You guys will know what that is here um, in the next couple videos that I end up posting what that modification was. Um, I don't feel comfortable posting everything yet. All the mileage uh, results I'm going to be getting a gas analyzer, a really good one that uh, will let me measure all of the exhaust gases and let me know what quantities there are so that I can make changes here and there and figure out exactly what works best and um, so I just wanted to give you this little update it's a little teaser video and I'll be posting the rest of them, you don't have to worry about that, I definitely will um, I'll be posting mileage results and that kind of good stuff, but not yet. It's not the time yet. So, just wanted to show you that it's in that it's in there and kind of a little bit of how it works. All right, well, peace out, everybody. Take care. All right, everybody. Let's kind of show you what I got going on right here. Got it most of the way done, most of the way in. Got all the wiring connected up. If you follow this down, it actually goes inside to a switch inside my car right down there, I've showed you before. Um, and then it's all wired up. I got my whole um, valve set up right here. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. I'm gonna see if I can get pictures of it. And then I'll post the pictures, because it's kinda hard to see, but let me get a flashlight actually. Oh, I have a light on this thing. I thought I had a lot on this thing. There we go. It's quite a bit better. But you can see, if you follow this out, um, this goes to my exhaust inlet and outlet. Um, I think this is. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is this pipe right here. This is the exhaust inlet. That goes up to my intake manifold. Okay, and then right here, what I have is um, the exhaust inlet that goes up to my container. Follow that all the way up, it'll connect into the bottom of the vaporizer. Okay, and then this elbows, because I had to do it like this, and then ties into the solenoid valve right here. So this is a T, in case you guys could, didn't catch that. And it elbows and it ties into this solenoid valve. It's an inch and a half valve. It's all wired up and everything. Um, and then from there, we go into this union so that I can remove this um, since everything else is welded on in places. Um, I've got a union and then another elbow. And then I have another T, just like the other one. And then this T is my um, exhaust outlet from the vaporizer to right here. Um, so 
once when this solenoid valve closes, it forces the exhaust. It forces the exhaust to come through this pipe right here and up into the vaporizer. And when it's open, um, it just the exhaust will flow freely through right here because um, there's more resistance in the vaporizer container than there is right flowing through this. So it'll take the, the, the path of least resistance and flow out. Some exhaust will go into my container, but not enough to matter. Um, so that's how that works. And, this, and then this end right here is tied into my exhaust pipe, which has the catalytic converter on it still and the muffler and all that, and just goes down. So I hope you guys can kind of get that. It's kind of hard to, to, to see, but it'll come up here and then I'll show you, you can see it following around, going up there into my container. So, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna cut a spot out for it. You can see up here in my wheel well, this is where I have it sticking down. Um, got the exhaust inlet connected right here. Little fitting, I had to get uh, custom made fittings for it that my dad did so <laughs> should work pretty good and by that brings the exhaust into the container have the container wrapped in this fiberglass um, exhaust pipe stuff so and then this right here if you can see down in there it's a vapor outlet. It says the vapor will flow into the bottom, surround the container, and then come out on this outlet right here, which is then connected to this piece right here that I had to make, have made. Um, it's narrow, it's a piece of rectangular tubing. Let's see if you can get it. But. And that way it could fit in all of this whole area and then this right here basically 45s down so that I can connect that pipe on the exhaust pipe so as you can see that fitting right there it's the same on this other end over here but it just is in a 90 instead of a 45 so I have the fuel inlet right he over here and that's with the clear tubing which comes over here to this where the solenoids at um, so that's the gas inlet port and then I have my this is the air inlet and then the vapor um, air outlet and I had to have these custom made too to make it so that everything would fit underneath my hood so my hood would close all the way thanks to this guy right here for doing it all, doing all the work on this and all the welding and hours that it took to do everything. Um, but, got it all clamped down, sealed off, and pretty much ready to fire off. So, a couple more little things that we gotta do to it still. We gotta put the air filter on and stuff like that. Oh, these are mountain, mounting brackets to help keep it nice and sturdy in there so it doesn't wiggle around at all. I also have a mounting bracket Ooh, down there, and you could see it when I showed it on my wheel wall right here. So it sits in there nicely. Um, and we made this so that my wheel's not gonna touch it when it turns, so it'll be okay. But it's a whole fuel system setup. I don't know if I've showed it installed yet. But this is gonna be a little mount right here going out to hold the whole housing right here for the fuel control. Um, basically how it works is there's a fuel in for my gas tank and a fuel return line. That just That's just how it works. Um, so I have the fuel in and return line coming to this setup. Then it's going over here to my fuel rail. Um, I have the shutoff valves right here for that. And then when these shutoff valves are, are closed, it doesn't really matter, they can be open, but um, I have the solenoid right here, and this controls the gas going into my vaporizer container. So what I'm going to do when I run my car off of the vaporizer is I'm going to disconnect the plugs on the fuel injectors. Just pull those. 
just pull those off like that. Um, have these closed off so that you guys can see for sure that I'm not running any fuel through my injectors and everything is vapor. But uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, so this is custom pipe right here. This right here is just a piece of flex tubing um, that I have in between it. Um, and that's pretty well it. So fire this bad boy up and see how well it works. Hey everybody. Um, got my vaporizer all done. I've uh, done a little test run on it. Um, what I did is I, I pulled the uh, spark plug injectors, injector wires, um, and I let my car run in my garage at idle, and I also rubbed up my engine and stuff like that for about an hour. Um, and because it's running so much cleaner, and there's it, it creates more um, steam from water while it's doing that and what and the effect that that had is it, it literally cleaned out my whole exhaust system and also uh, I think it would have cleaned out my engine cylinders and stuff too a little bit because after I was done with that that test run that hour test run this is what was on the ground. It was actually a bigger puddle than this. I This is a few days later because um, it's been run over and drove over and stuff. But that's what came out of my tailpipe. Because it was burning so much cleaner, it cleaned out the whole system.